I'm not know what I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing. But God proved them wrong. Because one thing, I, want, I always tell people, I say when you are in a situation, if somebody told you do this thing, always obey. Because I wish I did not follow my heart. I could not know what would happen to me. And if this thing came up, maybe we will spend nothing less than 200 or something. But this particular one, it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's like a film in my eye. When I get home, I was just happy. I say no. I say anytime I come for program again, I will come and return the glory to God. Because God have God have did a great thing in my life. I did not lose my life. My children, my children are there. Then this one now will come and take my life for what? I say no, I will not die. And God help me. God use our our daddy to deliver me on that particular day. Even everybody we are just they, they have given up. Ah, even my husband was just saying, ah, I said, I'm tired. I said, you will not tire. Nothing will happen to me. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. You can do better. Jam those hands together for Jesus. Now, our sister, I may want to ask you some more questions so we can really appreciate your testimony. Is it that you were pregnant? Yes. And what happened to the baby? The baby died in the womb for one week before I even knew. So it was a case of intrauterine fetal death, yes. I, IUFD. Yes. And what did the doctor suggest for you? The doctor said I will go to operation and the thing will be very hard. Have you done operation before? No. Okay. And it will be very difficult despite yes, you are doing yes, operation. Yes. And so you came to the prayer line and after the touch of God's servant, mm. supernaturally, no, the, that is not the prayer line. Okay. The day of the deliverance. That's okay. on Friday, Saturday. The on Saturday night of faith. That's when you encountered grace. Yes. And the baby's leg came out on, on its, own. its own. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. You can do better. Jam those hands together for Jesus. This is a massive miracle. Now, once a baby dies in the womb, there will never be contractions anymore. And so medically, it will, not be, it will be impossible for there to be contractions for the baby to be expelled out. So the only way actually is by surgery. And even surgery, there will be more complications because, because at the, you said the baby has been dead for a week. A week, So yes. decay was already going on. The placenta would have decayed. So operating is like infecting fresh tissues with infection. So it was a, it's a mighty miracle that surgery was not done. After the leg came out, the baby was extracted and evacuated. Only the baby came out on his own. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. What a mighty grace. Somebody shout grace. grace. Now you have come to free deed. It will never happen again. Let's jam those hands together for Jesus. Congratulations. My name is Igwe Christabel, all the way from Abakliki. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. I came here with my pastor, Apostle Newton. When last year, when I gave my life to Christ, I was in the world before, until grace found me. When I gave my life to Christ, I started having so many battles most especially from my family. They said I should leave the church. Then when I asked the reason, they said the, the man of God is not genuine. That is not a real man of God. That he has stained his hands. So I said, what they are seeing, I'm not seeing it. That since I joined that commission, that my life has changed. Everything about me has turned around that I cannot leave the church, that that's where I found peace, worshiping. So they said uh, I was being possessed. They now had to take me to, they boggled me to one village like that. They took me to, because they asked uh, the woman there, the prophetess they met there said, I was possessed and I need uh, deliverance. So when I got there, I was very angry in my spirit. When I got there, the woman now said, uh, why is my face like this? When I greeted her, I met her, I greeted her. She said, why is my face like this? 
I said, because I'm not happy. She said, why am I not happy? I told her that I was forced to be here, that I'm not supposed to be here. She now said, uh, who forced me? I said, my people forced me. He now asked me why. He now said, because you said I needed deliverance, that I was being possessed. So he now said that he's going, she's going to pray for me. But before she will pray for me, that I have to, uh, I, the deliverance, I have to do it with my whole heart. So after the service she was holding that day, she called us. As she called us, I was there with my brother, those that brought me for the deliverance. So I, when the woman said that, the woman said by asking us, who told her, who carried her matter to our pastor? Then I said, I was the one that told my pastor about you. He said, why would I, why would I go and tell my pastor about her? I said, because you also talked about my pastor. That's why I have to tell my pastor about you. He now said that I'm now trying to create an enmity between two pastors, two people. He now said, the woman actually said there are people giving my pastor powers in the altar, that they are buried them in the altar. And then when I tried to say, the woman said that what will happen now is that uh, my pastor's spirit summoned her, that my pastor is fighting her, that she did not say anything. I tried to confront her on what she said. She said she did not say anything, that she go back to my pastor and tell my pastor that she did not say anything, that she's not fighting against any altar. Mm. So after that, they, uh, because they actually bound me from going to church at home. They said I should stop going to church. Then after that, I, I left. The woman had to call my parents and tell them that they should allow me to start going to church. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. But the foundations that were fighting against me was very, very strong. My people still insisted that I won't go to church. Sometimes I had to sneak out to attend programs. So along the line, they brought another prophet to my house. It was in the night like this. So they were doing family pro, uh, prayers. I came out to join them as usual. The next thing I saw was a strange voice. Then the man started uh, pre, uh, praying. Now said he's seen a coffin on my head. And then he, he said they should go and bring rope and tie my leg. So when they now brought the rope, they used it and tie my leg. He now told them to go and bring a carton. Your, your family, your people tied your leg. They were there. They were the ones. The man was giving them the instruction. They were doing it on me. They collected the rope, tied my leg. After tying my leg, the man said uh, some things he said, and then he now carried the rope and put it inside the carton, and then he asked me to burn the carton. So I burnt the carton without knowing I, what, about what I did. I don't know anything spiritual in what I did because I'm just a new intake in Christ. So when I went to church later, I was telling my pastor, look at what happened in the night. My pastor told me that, why would I allow them to tie my leg? That he now gave me another spiritual meaning to what they did to me that night. And even on that Sunday, even before I told him of what happened, he, was, he did deliverance on me on that Sunday. He was praying for me and he said, anything they have done to me to weaken my spiritual strength. He did this deliverance before I even told him about what happened that night. It was when, after deliverance, I now told him what happened. He was now shocked. He was not telling me the spiritual meaning of what they did to me. Then he said, thank God that he has prayed for me. So after everything, the next Sunday, uh, daddy came to, our pastor came to uh, this free indeed. Then he brought back with him a mantle from three indeed. That mantle, he shared it to everybody in the church. Then I was opportuned, I got the mantle. And when I got that mantle, and I had to pieces the mantle into small, small shreds, and I had to drop it on, on everybody's bed because everybody was against me. They said, if I go to that church, that they are going to disown me. In fact, they even said that I won't go to school again. So I had to drop the mantle from this place. The mantle from God's servant. Yes. The mantle that you, God's servant is going to be blessing for us now, which is part of the registration pack. For those of you who are not registered, 
You can do that now. You can get the man today, and God somehow will bless it. Continue, my sister. So I had to pieces the mantle. I dropped it on their bed. I said, as I'm dropping this mantle, that is how when you sleep on the bed and wake up, you have a change of mind. I dropped the mantle on all of them's bed. Sometimes I, I take the water, anointed water. I pour it in the food everybody eats. The free in the tap water. Yes. Continue. I pour it in the food everybody eats. So that then after I prayed and did this, the next day, they said, uh, I'm possessed. They don't know what is wrong with me. They now said they should leave me. Oh. They should leave me. Let me do what I want to do. That was how all of them just kept silent on my matter. Nobody if you are clapping, talking. clap for Jesus. If the people of the world think they have anything they can do, we are under grace. Continue. Nobody was talking to me again. I go to church. I go for uh, prayer band prayers every night because they also stop me from going to prayer band prayers. I go like I was now through worshiping God. After a while, um, my property started missing. Then when I told my pastor about it, now said, do I think that they will easily give up without fighting me? That I don't need to relent. My footwear started missing. Then another thing that started missing was my bangle. The friend did, the friend did respond. Yes. I was always wearing it in my hand. But when I slept, I woke up on a Saturday morning. Before the Saturday, we started coming here. I could not find the wristband again. And I don't remove that wristband from my hand. So that was what happened. And our pastor now said, I will follow him to this program. So after that day, I came for this program. I came to this program. The day uh, I came, I entered the uh, the Prayer line, line. Praying line. Prayer line. Yes. So daddy, uh, daddy now was praying for everybody. When he got to my turn, he prayed for me. He laid his hands for me for over five minutes. He was praying for me. And I felt very hot sensation on my head. It was just like the impactation was only for me. After a while, I just sat down. The fire on my head was very, very much. And I know that everything, every deposit of the enemy that they have put inside me, that it's left immediately that daddy laid his hand on me. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. And I want to appreciate God for making me to be here. And I also want to thank my pastor too for bringing me, giving me the privilege to be in this friendly gathering. And I'm saying may God bless him so much. Thank you. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. You know, the, the, the beauty of is bringing you here. They've already been telling you stuff that, you know, your pastor will speak and all that. So he had to bring you here to see the source of the grace, yes. the source of the mighty ocean that we are all drinking from. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. Congratulations for your beautiful testimony. And about those who want to experience that same impartation she received at the prayer line, the registration is going there, over there. This is the last session. It's going to be corrosive. Don't miss it. Continue. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. My name is Chioma Nelson. By the special grace of God, I want to celebrate grace. Please, let us celebrate grace in the house. If you are clapping, clap well. Amen. Amen. For the past one month now, I've been having some serious pain in my nails and my legs. When I say very serious pain, for the past three weeks, let's say, there about a month now, I cannot stand like this for like 10 minutes. I can't stand straight the way I'm standing now. And if I'm standing up either from the chair, I'll be walking like this. This is how I walk. Mm. It seems my leg from my knee downwards there is no strength what's like what is happening is it stroke i don't really i can't even tell and when i sit down even though when i'm walking or if i go to any place especially when i'm sitting down if i don't sit down for like five minutes my legs will be swelling up wow. my legs two of my legs they will be swelling up i've taken a lot of medications some people say maybe it's because of the weight I added. I said, fine. I started doing a road walk or what do they call it? Early in the morning, I would trek from Omaka to the shop every day. 
from Keep on checking, to yes. shop. Every day, every day, I have to like, leave, like leave the marathon. car for them to save my life. I'll be trekking from Obaka before seven. I'll, I'll, I'm in my shop already. All to no avail. So I was really battling in my spirit. I said, it seems I'll go to prayer line. Because me, and I, I know they to enter prayer line. Anytime when I enter prayer line, it was in a serious matter. So yesterday I decided to, I saw a doctor, I said, doctor. Doctor was mocking me, said, I've invited you to come and join the testimony minister. I said, my problem is an ego fist stand. He said, what happened? I have to lift up my gun and say, look at my leg. He said, I have come to the prayer line. I booked and I, in fact, when Papa touched me yesterday, I could not come out because I said, make I watch my leg very well. But I noticed something when I got home. My husband is here. He's, he, he's, he can testify to it. I was lying down on the chair in the parlor. I had to carry this, my two legs up. I didn't put pillow on my head. My husband came and said, uh -uh, you know when enter inside your room, go sleep. I said, no. Because the kind of pain I was feeling at that particular time, that kind to 12, because I was trying to connect with the, with the prayer online with Papa. The PPC. But yes, I could not... There was no, I could not get him online. So, I, before you, but at that particular time, I didn't know that Holy Spirit was walking on the leg from here down west. That's after, I, the, after the prayer line yesterday. Yes. So, this morning, I took my baths. I came to, the, to do the exercise. I was so surprised because all these boys, then they said, we wait on old. We still get strength like them. But there are some things they asked us to do. I saw myself, I was even, what I cannot do before, I saw myself, I was doing it. Mm. Then this evening, when I came, I just sat down. Holy Spirit say your leg. I had to like, I, was, I didn't plan to come and testify. I pulled my shirt, I was like, look at my legs. There is nothing, there's no swell. Everything, it everything is normal. dried up now. And I have strength in my leg. In fact, I can walk well. Wow. This is beautiful. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus. The swelling dried up. The arthritic need disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know when you are walking, I don't want people to know what I was going through. The one way can't tire me. I cannot walk well. I can't walk out like old mama. No, there, was, there is no strength. No strength in my, from my nail downwards. I was not having any strength. Some people said I should do this, I should do that, I should do this. But everything came to an end. Immediately I entered the prayer line yesterday. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is something God did for me last two weeks. And I still want to appreciate God that I, I was among the people that went to this, um, our, our delight city. If not beside God that delights it, I know they shall say, I foresee the next day. I know why I'm saying it. And I went to the delight city because of the revelation I had that, that same night before we went to the delight city. I saw Papa. Papa was in his office. And I was even talking to him. Because even that day before I slept, my husband said we should go. I said, mm, me, I, will, I will not be able to trek. Oh. I hear say that place, I don't go fit trek and finish. So we were like arguing. I said, I don't go fit trek. No, me say. But that night, I don't know say what they talk. Say, when I say I don't go fit, and really, it was still because of this, my leg. I didn't know that all those conversations, the Holy Spirit had it. Papa now appeared in my dream. And I was talking to Papa. Papa did not answer me. I said, ah, this is way Papa know the answer me. Be like, say, Papa, the verse. So I was like, Daddy, he said, you said you will not go to... Delight City. <laughs> he said, you said you will not go to Delight City. What do you want me to tell you now? Eh, don't go now. <laughs> Immediately, I woke up. Now I run, go meet my husband. I say, I beg, when are they going? <laughs> my husband was so surprised. I say, see, wait till I see you. I say, Papa, do you want to see Papa? Eh? Papa, I Come say, Papa, say, me and you discuss the matter. I say, I don't go go because of my legs. Say, I hear say, then go trek tire. Immediately, strength came up because I don't want that. Sharply. Now I go meet my husband and say, that the light city, I will go follow them. Go Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you know that when we came back from that, in fact, two days later, I was in my room because I'm all, I'm, we have everybody have their own, um, I did for my room all. Oh, I was like, after, the, after my midnight prayer, I was hearing the spirit of death. 
Now that day I know say, must you put a key person. Before you knew it, after my prayer, my lap here, Mozupu held me in the room. I'm talking about two, two in the night. I was struggling. The two legs. I could not shake. I could not stretch my leg. I could not do anything. I was struggling to stand up the fan, to even come out, to, to come down from the bed. Struggling to go to the door so that I will open the door and crawl to the parlor and tell them to. I was even shouting. You know at that time, people don't sleep, go. So I, I was scrolling. Holy Spirit gave me this. I was even, I don't know how I managed to open my, my room door. And I came out to the parlor with the pain. I could not. It was, I don't have, nobody should experience that, that, that pain. I went to my husband's room. I have to open it. He jumped up. He said, what is happening? I said, I'm dying. I'm dying. Mozupu. Mozupu. Say, my husband wanted to manage it. I don't know when I fling my, cl my clothes away now. Because he couldn't be like saying, I die. I don't know die. My husband was trying to manage the situation. He, I said, what are you doing? Call my children. I'm dying. Hey, my husband now went to their room. They now came out. Mommy, what is happening? I said, nobody should ask me. I'm dying. Mozupu. My two lap. Everything went just was so stiff. So my children, they were hitting me. They started stretching my leg. They started, uh, uh, they, in fact, for the past one hour, if you see my body, people like I said, then pour me water. Then pour me water. So they started stretching my leg. It took a lot of time. One leg went, was okay, but the other one, but after everything, I said, God, I will not, I go to the light city, I will be saying, no one go. Not be say, I will do shakara, and I because of my leg. But at the end of it, I came out, everything went well, and I'm standing so strong and tall. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified for chasing away the spirit of death from my life. May his name and his name be exalted in Jesus' name. I still want us to celebrate grace in the house. Clap your hands for Jesus. Uh, one place of the testimony, Stachoma. You said you were in your room. Your husband is in his own room. Uh, is it good? Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, if we're not able to, to pull yourself to join your husband, something terrible would have happened. Uh, I'm not the judge you. Is it good? No. Clap your hands for Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I, I never knew the one was reacting inside of me. You too, you were. Praise Master Jesus. No, it's not good. It's not good. When you have passed 40 years, 50 years, don't do things like that. You might need an attention at the odd time. When your wife will be in another room. If you are not careful, you might meet a dead person. But that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Now, please, very quick before we receive uh, God's servant, some of us have not subscribed to the, the free in the TV card. A sister shared a testimony yesterday, and personally, I keyed into it. We're believing God for fruit of the womb for 11 years before God gave birth to the TV ministry. Immediately, it was announced of the issue of the card. We picked four cards. We're paying consistently every month before the children arrive. The same testimony the sister shared yesterday. For seven, eight years, she said, she has been paying every month to the numbers of the children she's believing God for. And she came testifying yesterday. You are a pastor here. You just pick for one branch. General of Asia, you are picking for only the headquarters there. No. You can view into what you, what, what you want God to do in the future. That is how it works. That is how it works. You are a business person, also wrong with that understanding. I have a shop and I just want it to end like that. No. Be projecting into the future. Do your own bit and leave the rest for God. Praise Master Jesus. For those of us who have not collected the card before now, or you collected one, but it's clear to you now that it's something that you need to expand. Quickly run forward immediately with the opportunity given to us by God's servant to pick up these cards. Quickly run forward immediately to pick it. I told you it worked for me. It worked for me. The four cards I picked then, it is the four children God has given to us today. The four children God has given to us today. 
So you don't just say for yourself alone, no. You are a general of Asia here. I'm looking at it. Before this year comes to an end, if it is five branches, let me do something. Yes, let me have more. If it is five branches, if it is five branches, let me subscribe to that. Let me have more of the card. Let me have more of the card. I need more of the cards. Okay, just hold on for me. Please, I need more of the cards. Come forward, just wait for me here to give the card to you. Let me have more of the card, please. The four children were believing God that I want to have four children. We were subscribing for them. When we have not seen the children, at the appointed time, God brought the children. Two set of twins. Boy and girl, boy and girl. Praise Master Jesus. So there is something you are looking into God to do in the future. If people are sharing the testimony here, and you have heard of all the numerous testimony, you are hearing the word like this, key into it. We need the cards, please. Key into it. Okay. God bless you. Key into it. A sister also collected the cards some years ago and just wrote Mr. John there, believing God for a life partner. She also shared the testimony too. She shared the testimony, believing God for life partner. Started 10. Wow. That's good. There are reflex inside. Please feel it. Feel it and uh, return it back to us immediately. Look at the pastor from Mogara. He did not just come and pick the Delight City card on his own. He got that. He said he shared the group, group of the church, the, the group into three. And each month they are subscribing. Each month they keep subscribing. Let me have more cards. Each month they keep subscribing. She, he would have said, let me do it on my own. Maybe it would have ended just by building the church. The members that are blessed today will not be there. He told you how many foundations they have laid, how many that will be completed soon, how many persons that have bought vehicles, bought cars. So you understand what is happening here. Key into it. Feed the reflect inside and let us have the remaining back. Feel it and let us have the remaining back. You are coming forward, please. Quickly come forward to pick it up. Then our sister also said something in her last testimony just now about the delight city. I was thinking the time will be there. I wanted to show it this evening before, but the time is not there. I don't know what that media and why we are talking, if you can just flash it. While we are talking, you can flash it. There's still a last a large portion to cover. Last portion has been acquired, but we still need to close it up so that the place can be square before the bulldozing and uh, uh, proper development will start there. After some time when we come, conferences of that things will be holding there. It's a city that God has asked his servant to build. Not just here alone. Another one like that will be in Lagos and God's servant also said, God said he's going to do it in Tezars. Praise Master Jesus. You saw a father in the Lord that came this, this morning. He was, he keep on saying America, America, America. Praise Master Jesus. When he was saying it, my eyes begin to open to what God's servant have told us in the years past. That a city will be built for Jesus in America. So you have not subscribed to that one too. The card is here with me. It's known as the good card. It's known as good card. You pay 100,000 naira in a month. But if your strength is not up to that, if it is 20,000, if it is 10,000, gradually pick the card and just begin to subscribe. Others have been blessed. You too must be blessed. If you are picking that card, please come forward, have the card. That was a card picked by our, our brother from a uh, pastor from uh, Ugara. And he's testifying today. He's testifying today. If he has not picked that card, the landlord that came to sit at that door that day, that provoked the opening, wouldn't have come. He wouldn't have come. Quickly come forward, get one of that card. Get one of the card. Come forward immediately, get one of the card. Get one of the card. Get one of the card. Now, I told us yesterday, there is no way daddy will travel to that he will not bring gift for us. There is no way in the world that he will go to that he will not get gift for us. The mantles are cheap. It's not really mantle. The face towers or whatever, anki, they are cheap. It is when it is blessed by God's servant, it becomes mantle. Look at the sister that the entire family said they, he will, she will never go to church. 
if a, past, if a pastor that came here during the conference did not gather those mantles and begin to share for church member, the weapon to fight that battle won't have been available. Won't have been available. So you don't just come to a place like this that is endowed. Every material here is contagious. Everything here is contagious. Get it. They are not selling them. It's a gift for you. It's a gift for you. Go there and get it. So that when you get home, there are some persons you must extend the hands of a fellowship to. God bless you. Let's receive the choristers, please. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. You can do better. You can do better. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, snap those hands together for Jesus. Look at the person next to you. Say, neighbor, I will never be the same. Say it with all conviction. Say, neighbor, I will never be the same. If you are sure about that, give God a shout.
wash your grace, my life has changed. I will never be the same. I wash your grace, my life has changed. feet as so bless the name of the Lord. Jesus we worship. Jesus we worship.
when you are here, when you are here, when you are here, when you are here, sickness disappears, when you are here, chains are broken, when you are here, life is transformed, when you are When you are here, 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 cancer disappear. When you are here, chains are broken. When you are here, the presence comes down. When you are here, there is an outpour of fire. When you are here, the legal step place. Can you connect your spirit? When you are here, miracles comes down. When you are here, when you are here, when you are here. When you are here, when you are here, oh, 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 Iba, oh, Iba, Iba, oh, Iba, Iba, oh, Iba, Iba, oh. Your glory, Lord, your glory, Lord, as we connect our spirit, we ask for your glory to fill this room. Hey, 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 hey. Adonai, 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 
Hammer. Lift your hands, Father, we give you praise. We magnify your name again and again. We say thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we worship him. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. I have more than four messages to preach. But I will only preach one. And these four messages, probably one of them was just to direct you on the complete authority and fire. And that has to do with prayer life. But I don't think we'll be able to do that now. But I want to take you to, because every night like this is revival. And you know that. Then again, no time to ask questions of the teachings you have received from me. Down, down roots, downward roots, and upward. And then the last one of that yesterday, Hebrew, is Hebrew 11, verse 17. Huh? 13, 17, yeah. That talks about reasons why you are not, many miracles miss your way, miss your path. Because you you probably don't know who you are dealing with or what you are dealing with. Just as Sister Shoma was saying. <laughs> but when I saw her on that train of the July City, uh, I said, Christmas, Shoma, come here. I didn't know. That's what she said. Why she was discussing it at home. The Holy Ghost was hearing. These are the things I've taught you people. And I know you got something from what I taught you. Is that correct? Why they were discussing it. So do you say you are not coming? So when you go back, you know, you don't understand spiritual things. And I said it. You are pastoring one small church there like this. Then you want to use it to compare a man who's carrying this. If a man like this carried this, what if he's in Lagos and Abuja? What will he carry? Before I go to the message, put that Hebrew for me again. Obey them that have the rule over you. No, disobey them that have the rule over you. And submit yourself. Don't submit yourself. What did he say? For the what? Over your souls. As they must give account. When the devil wants to attack you, they give account. There was a time somebody passed on here. I'm telling you the fact. I never knew that some person was accusing me. Funny things will be to shock you. Until one or two persons say, Are you, do you know somebody close to you is accusing you like this, accusing you like this? On what ground? I never put seriousness. It look as if now you even kill him. Jesus. Ah, you know what I don't go through here? It will shock you. Okay, you that is talking. The person exposed what was going on, what the husband wanted to do to her. And as close as you are, you could not even come and tell me that the husband of this person wants to use her. Few minutes to a point, she, op she opened up to me, sir, see what is going on, oh, my husband wants to use me, oh. I said, what? Really? When I called 2 o'clock, when she called me 2 o'clock, she was dying. I told the, the husband walking, I said, take the phone. Daddy wants to speak to you because he's not a member of the church. I said, okay, let me take your wife to the hospital. The man said, don't bother. After eventually whatever I did, something happened. They came to my house and said I should go and beg the family for burial. You know what happened? I finished the man, scolded the man. The man opened him and said, he tired and I make he allow the wife die. 
He brought that way for like a con look at him, as in you don't match line. So I never even knew some persons were accusing me. And this is not the kind of person that she even say a word. There was a time they saw her to seven altars. I saw it. It was a fierce battle between me and these people. Because the church she was coming from. That was not even too happy with her character. I called her and said, Madam, be careful. Though. See what I saw. I said, that is not true. Forgive me all this my behavior when I did do. He said she saw the same thing. They did everything to kill her. If at some point a pastor died on her head, the day they came to assassinate her, it's as worse as that. So when this woman passed on, she opened a big leisure book, shaking the, <laughs> look at this scripture, opening it one after the other. He said, people are accusing you. Let me check the book. When you look at the book, he says, sir, you are innocent. I don't mind them. He said, but there's one thing you will do. She was not the judge. Open the book. She said, but there's one thing you are going to do. That your Saturday evangelism. Don't stop it for one day. And that period, I wanted to stop it. Devastating news of what happened to her. I said, I'm not even doing it again. But I now remembered, don't stop it. Now, when you hear accounts, this is a ledger open now. Look at the scripture. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself. For what happens, sir? As they that must do what? The book was open. What happened to this person? Come and give an account. Let's check whether I... you see how deep the ministry you are running. You think you are just running ministry. For, for what did he say? For they watch over your souls as they that must give what? Account. That they may do it with what? So offend me. And I'll be praying with joy for you. Not be so. You have cut your place out. You don't put your place for corner. That they will do it with what? And not with. So be careful. So you don't kill yourself. And not with grief. For that is what? All profitable to who? You don't know where battle is coming from. When you find yourself in a place of grace, be humble, be broken to learn. I wish I could take the other part today. That would have been very interesting. But it is not easy. I know this scripture very well now, better and clearer. There was a time one of our elderly, my very age, who was born again, became a, was a king, born again, and pastor. And he appeared to me and said, go and tell my chiefs that nobody should cry for me. Where I am is far, far, far better. Even if they make me the governor of the state, I can't. So when I got there, I said, hey, push you know more, Papa. See what he told me. Not one like that, not two, not ten. I can give, since I've been in ministry for years, I can be, I can do recount of cases like that. So be sensitive. It's not enough to receive revival. You go back, you continue with that same attitude, that same behavior, that complete authority will elude you. So be careful. Is that correct? I know you learned something from that yesterday. Then the other one we were told, if you must go upward first, where do you go? Where do you go, sir? You must be rooted for you to be fruitful. No root, no fruit. Where you are, the size and your level is as a result of your root. So find a way you can go deeper rather than putting me as your subject of debate or, or reason for you not growing. Because weak people discuss people. They don't give me attention. They don't give me this. Where we were before I came here, one that I didn't follow me here, probably maybe 400,000. And then what God used me to do there, nothing was attached from anywhere. I was only getting rooted. I wish there was a time to preach that, preach that prayer for you. Aye. Aye. 
what, Solomon, what David did to Solomon by praying him to destiny. When I went through it, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That is buying the future to the current presence. That would have been the topic. Maybe I'll preach it any of the any of the service. Buying the future to the present. David and Solomon, being his, uh, his father, didn't get this. Uh, the man bought the future. If you go to Psalm 75, verse 10, verse 15, and then Second King chapter 2, you read from verse 10, you read from verse 22, 23, it gives you the straight analysis there. Everything we was telling him. And the Bible put in prayer also was there. That the queen of shed this would give you a presence. This will give you a this. And all came to pass in maturity. It was David that did it. So when Solomon came on board, it was just luxurious life. Because somebody has prayed in him. Somebody prayed him. You can pray to your children. You can pray to your destiny. You can be rooted in prayer. So don't go back and just be an ordinary person. You have got to two revelations you shouldn't take for granted. Don't be carried away that we just came for a conference. No. I was asking God, why is this man so blessed? The pastor who testified today with his members and people have so delighted. I know many of them you have blessed them. But not like this blessing from another church that they make women into a group. This group pay one, pay for this month, another group, and consistently no stop. And now they have 14 lands, individually members, church built, raised up. Then they have five cars. Then many of them also, uh, how many uh, houses have been built? Like seven. And the Lord told me, it's memory spirit they have here. They are giving and they are memory. That was what he told me when I sat. I was asking, why? He said they are giving and they are memory. So that's why they are not getting it. They are giving the same time they are what? No more. So that's why they are not. But that's not where we are going. But I just try to bring the, a short recap of this revelation. And mostly this revelation. This Hebrew. And if you, if you are where you are, you want to go further, sir, then you must be rooted. Obey them that have the rule over you. Submit yourself. For they watch for your souls. That's why you see attack comes. Grace will come and fight for you. Grace will defend you. You are helpless most time. You see this come around you. For they watch for your souls. As they that must. Pastor, don't joke with your calling. You know, because every member, there's a... There's a the entire church is an account for you to give. That's what you're saying there. For they what? Must give account. That they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you who is fighting them. So when you see that some, ah, eh, why is it that this, that? No. How did you leave the place? What did you do? What is your work here? not believe some people can tell lies from nowhere. What you don't even know, what you have not. And somebody is fighting on your behalf and see the attitude you have. It's very strange and it's very terrible. I'm saying this so that when you go back, let this conference, this scripture should dwell details in your spirit man. It should live with you. Meditate over it. It will help you. It will help you. Praise the Lord. But where I want to go today is different. If I saw the impartation fire that they were, were bringing up, if the fire has not fell in the morning, I would have allowed it to go. But we have not prayed. So I want to push you to pray a very brief. Exodus chapter 2. Exodus chapter 2. Verses 10 to 11. Are we there? Let's read. Let's go. Mm. 
You are not reading. Read it loud, everybody. Are you sleeping? Verse 11. And it came. All right. Take me to verse 10 as we go through the message. And I believe God that after today, somebody's story will change forever. Can your amen be louder, better? He said, and the child grew, and she brought him unto who? Pharaoh's daughter, and became her son. And she called his name what? And she said, because I drew him out of the water. Verse 11. And it came to pass in those days, when Moses was grown, that he went out into his bedroom, and looked on their bodies, and he spied on Egyptian smiting and Hebrew, one of his bedren. I think there's a place again I want to get there because of time. But the Bible said that when Moses grew up, he refused to be called what? He refused to be called what? Help me find it at fast media. The Bible said he refused to be called Pharaoh's Pharaoh's what? Pharaoh's son. When he grew up, he rejects the foundation. He rejects the name. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I want to pray for somebody here. If there is anything following your ministry, or following your life, following your destiny, whatever is tied to your family, the Bible says Moses came and inspired the body and said, no, this body, the load here too much. I cannot continue. But I believe God for somebody here today. In the name that is above all name. Whatever is following your father lineage. That follow them and they follow you right now. That you can observe that this thing is following them. If your amen is not borrowed, you shall cut yourself off. You shall be separated from them. I think they just posted in Hebrew. Level 24, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. That is, he saw some things and looking deep that this name, if I continue to follow it, what is following then will follow me. I came, for, I came with someone here today. Anything that is following the family, and he's following you despite your prayer, your fasting. Moses rejected his own. Today, I have said, agree with you. You must be separated from that altar. If you shout that amen, you must be separated. The Bible said, it's Israel 3.10. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. In case you are coming from a weak foundation, there is a stronger foundation. Prepare by the Holy Ghost. And that place that does not allow your voice to grow, to be stabilized, to be honored, today you shall cut out of that place. Somebody said, I am coming out. If you shout at them, you are the first to come out. Look at the scripture in that Exodus 2, 10, 11. Moses means the one that was drawn or picked from the what? From the water. That is Everything that revolves about his life, water. Born in the water, picked from the water, was also used to set the people free from what? And again, God got angry with him because of the same water. Any power that, that is following you, and vow not to let you go. After this conference, I set fire against that root. If you shout amen, I see you coming out by thunder. I set fire against our foundation. Somebody shout amen like a thunder. Elijah said, take my life, for I am not better than my father's. 
In other words, the grandfather died of suicide. The father died of suicide. The man with such anointing also is saying they should take his life. I pray for somebody here. If anything is following you that is not of you, if you can jump and shout fire, I separate you. I cut that enough. I cut it all by fire. Somebody shout fire. You remember when Jesus was being taken to the cross, the young men were, sit down, sir. The young men spat on him. They were saying all kind of thing. Rebuking Jesus. Give him all kind of name. Can I shock you? Who can tell me what Jesus, what Jesus said? He said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what. But Jesus know what was happening. But they don't know what was. So there was something following Jesus. While they were spitting on him. Jesus said to them, not be their fault. Now wait till they follow me. Anything that is following you. That is negative to your dream. Negative to your prophecy. Somebody said, I caught it up. Shout it again. Said, I caught it up. There are many things following pastors. Irrespective of the power. Irrespective of the anointing. Irrespective of the grace. That does not want their glory, their voice to come out. If Jesus himself, with all the embarrassment, the things that were happening to him. The Bible said, he said to them, don't add these children to the problem. It is not them that is the problem. It is what is following me. If you can lift your two hands, whatever is following you, I set fire against it. If it is late marriage that is following you, or timely death, poverty, the far you cannot travel abroad, whatever is following you, as your amen is the loudest, I disconnect that thing by fire. I disconnect that thing by fire. Somebody said, I caught myself from that negative darkness that is following my ministry, that is following my destiny. Lift your hands and say, I caught up myself. Caught up myself from that negative altar, negative foundation, negative power, following my calling. Open your mouth and pray it. Whatever negative following me, Cut it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. See that, sir. Take me to the book of Jonah chapter 1 verse 8. Jonah chapter 1 verse 8. For you to know what we are talking about. And this... Then said they unto him. Somebody say, tell us. We pray thee. For whose cause this evil is what? Upon us. What is the occupation? This is now um, international passport. What do you do? You want to leave Nigeria? You want to travel? What is the occupation? And where comes that? Where are you coming from? What is that country? Somebody say international passport. Jonah wants to travel to another country. And then they are telling him, write your CV down. Put the scripture there. What did he say? And where come that? What is that country? And of what people is that? Expose yourself. Make we know. This thing where they follow us, we know ourselves. This thing never follow us before. Who make this thing follow us? Give us your identity. We can understand. Give us your details. We can trace where this temptation is coming from. I don't know what is following you because you got born again. And the authors and foundation are saying that what right are you to be born again? What right are you to be a pastor? Whatever is saying no to your calling. Whatever I say no to your salvation. Whatever I say no to your deliverance. Somebody jump, shout fire. I declare by the decree of heaven. Every rising and falling in your ministry. Every altar of poverty and shame. Whatever is falling you. Somebody jump, I caught it up. Shout it louder, I caught it up. 
I decree and I declare upon you any darkness following your ministry, following your calling, for them you reject them by fire. If you shout that they may, you will never go back with them. Somebody said, I reject them by fire. Jesus said, don't bother yourself. Don't cause these people. Now meditate, they follow. That is why they are stoning me. They could spit on me. They are doing what they are doing. If you cause them, you are just oppressing them. I command that follow, follow spirit to catch fire. Lift your hand, shout fire. Lift your leg and shout fire. Jump your feet and shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down, sir. Sit down. Matthew chapter 2, verse 2. Matthew chapter 2, verse 2. The Bible said when Jesus was born, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen. We have seen his star. Someone say we have seen his star. What is the other name of Jesus? His name is what? Bright and. All right. When the devil was going to fight him. The Bible says he disguised as agent of what? He also came as a star. To fight him. So there was something following him. Elijah, if you insult him, fire. If he pray, fire. When he wants to be taken to heaven, shout out of fire. Today, instead of negative to follow you, let it be fire. Fire, bara, bara. Let it be fire. Let it be fire. Somebody shout fire three times. I pray for every one of you in the name of Jesus. That battle that is fighting your life shall die by fire. That thing people are waiting to call you a negative name. To give your ministry a bad name. That thing following you from your mother house. From your father house. Somebody shall fire. Moses, bring the rod to where? River. Someone say river. Everything about him. River. 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 Today, whatever is following you, we will handle them today. Whatever say your, your destiny cannot come alive, we shall deal with every one of them today. In Judges 11 verse 3. Judges 11 verse 3. You can see that, sir. The Bible said, and Jephthah fled from his bedroom because the battle was very fierce. Why? He fight. And then Jephthah fled from his bedroom. Why should a man who has a grace, who has a leadership capacity, run from his people? Because of what was following him from his father's house, he ran away from them. That demon that doesn't want to let you rest, you have come here today. By the time you go back, that thing will not follow you back. Any altar rest to swallow your glory, your calling. Any battle bigger than your calling that is programmed on your way. They say this is what is following the family. Today, because you are here, that thing is dead forever. That covenant is dead forever. If you shout at the man, you are free. Matthew 3, verse 17. Matthew 3, verse 17. Matthew 4, 3. Matthew 4, 3. Very brief. The devil is fighting you. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If that be the Son of God, command these stones to what? Why are they fighting you, sir? Because of what you want to change in your family. Because of the prophecy you carry. Matthew 4, 3. Because of your determination. That you must change the image of your family. Of God. In that same Matthew where we just read. Matthew 3, 17. If that be the son of God. 
Matthew 3, 17. Take us back again. Then take us back again to Matthew 4, Matthew 4, 3. And Matthew 3, verse 17. What did he say? This is my beloved son. Don't even go there, please. The anger is the love God has for you. The anger is the assignment that the prophecy God has for you. This is my beloved son. God make him special. Then back to Matthew, Matthew 4, 3. What did he say? If you are the son, the anger here is you are no longer the same powers from the father house. You are no longer from the same root. You are no longer the same place. You have come out of light. You have come out of darkness to light. And then they are still there. The battle is why must you change what is on ground and say you are going to the light. There may be pastors in your family, but they don't have the light. There may be bishop in your family, but they are not booked by God. And that's come the battle you are facing. Why is your own different? How come you carry the wisdom and grace when they are still carrying the same thing? Some are carrying title, you are carrying grace. And then come the battle. If you are the son of God. So many temptations and battles many of us are facing in the calling is as a result of the prophecy that we what? We carry. The Bible described another name of Jesus as sheep. Is that correct? Where was he born? Where was he born? He was born in Menja. What did they do in Menja? Where they rear sheep. So that he can feel the smell because that was the assignment. Whatever you are going through now is for a while. Whatever delay, temptation is for a while. Whatever you are smelling now is the same thing you are sent to deliver. And I pray for somebody in the name of Jesus. Grace will bring you out from the ground. As you shout that amen, you are coming out by fire. Somebody shout that amen louder. Jesus was sent for the lamp. That's why John the Baptist said, Behold, the lamp of God comes. So he has to start from the place. Not because of money. The assignment makes him to start there. Sometimes you may not be where you are, not because God does not want to help you yet, but God wants you to learn some things there. Something is ahead. Something is what? The team of our coming all night completes better things ahead. And I pray for somebody here. Your testimony, your breakthrough, something is ahead. If you shout that they may receive it. Psalm 119 verse 71. Psalm 119 verse 71. David said, the Lord, what did he say there? Psalm 119. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. That what? I may lend a status. Some of us, there's no way we can be matured until God allows us to learn through the hard way. Is that correct? That's why there are some things I have waged, I've gone through here. If one fall on your leg, you will just die. It was good for me. God, it is good for me. He now appreciated the end product of the pains. That I will have been afflicted. When God wants to help a man, he allows some affliction. He allows some school of thought. He allows you to learn some things that are hard. And what did he say in the minute to that? He said, it was good that I was afflicted that I may what? Learn that status. Many of us would have had understanding of the status and how the status can be a blessing. If we had no better, it would have been better than what we are. But God allows some things so you can be where deliver. When the time comes, you can fulfill your destiny. But thank God, if Moses can come on age to declare, to say, I reject this body. That's what he said in that Exodus 2 verse 11. The scripture said, when he saw the body, he went to spy. When he came on age, that Moses has groomed, that he went out onto his bedroom and looked on their bodies. The body is over to them. That person say, name, I say, your body is over. Yeah. Every body put on you, we shall drop them today. Yeah. Somebody say, I'm dropping them. 
Any darkness, place on me. Say, I'm dropping them. Any situation, place on me. Say, I'm dropping them. And I see everybody dropping them. Moses came on age. Galatians 4.2 talks about an hair. You know, if he has remained an hair, he wouldn't have survived it. He said, but he's under tutor and governors until the time what? Age is synonymous to liberty. Because if you are remain on as an heir, there's no way he could have grown to see the battles. But he has grown on age and look around and say, yes, I could feel some things here. I could sense some things here. Many times, many years ago, we see some good, good students in our, in our community. Good ladies, young girls. They look like they are black, but they look like white in their lifestyle. But because they did not know the things we know today, the result is different. They could not see like Moses who rejected some things and said, no, this thing can't follow me. That one can't follow me. I must change the result. Today, they ended up not what we think. But we, God have to understand the foundation. We're able to cross the river and become a shining star today. Every one of you that is crying secretly that nobody can help. You might be going through the training now. But today you will reject anything that is put to your head. As an excess luggage from your father's house. As an excess luggage attached to your ministry. What did he say? In Micah chapter 7. Micah 7 verse 7 to 8. Micah 7 verse 7 to 8. Because it is on water. Someone says an error. For an aircraft to fly on water. For train to pass through the street. It is what? Many are great. But they are not able to maximize the greatness. Why? Because there is something fighting them. Somebody said it's an error. There is something others may not see. You have to open your eyes. To say like Moses. No. Hebrew 11 verse 24. Before we go back to Micah 7 verse 7 to 8. Hebrew 11 verse, verse 24. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called. He saw something that why he should refuse it. He saw it. Micah 7 verse 7 to 8. Where we are running up. And what did he say? Rejoice not against me. Oh, my enemies. When I fall, I shall arise. When I fall, somebody is about to rise again. When I fall, somebody is about to rise again. When I fall, I pray for somebody here. You shall arise again. Put the scripture. Rejoice not against me. Oh. My enemies, when I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light. Wow. Somebody's coming out stronger. Somebody's coming out powerful. If you are that person, lift your hand and say, I shall arise again. What did he say in Micah 7:7? Seven, seven? Give me seven. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Today, God is about to hear everybody here. That thing following you. The mariners were short of words. Who has entered this family? What has happened to our family? Where is this trouble coming from? Look at the testimony of our brother, our, our pastor on Wednesday here. The grandmother where he married from, no in-law survived. Five in-laws have died because something is following the family. When he got to his own, the mother, the grandmother died of where he married from and no in-law to do burial. They have to beg him to go and do in-law greeting. Where are the senior in laws from the grandmother? All have gone because something was following them. 
Then he got to his, the, the, the lady he got married from, only to also find out five in laws have also died. He said, Not for the grace, he was the one to die. The thing jumped from him and went to the other in law. Now, all the in laws from the grandmother are gone. This other one, gone. Whatever is fighting you, Moses look at his family and said, no, this thing is in this place. I will fight it. Poverty. I can see burden. Too much burden. I can see criticism. I can see everybody is comfortable. They don't travel. What I'm seeing, I don't know. Something is not correct. If you don't see, you can't, you can't change it. You must be sensitive to see and know the nakedness in your family. What is happening? You must be smart and intelligent to put down your eyes and watch what is happening. I'm telling you the fact. If you are not sensitive to this, time will pass you. Life will pass you. That's what makes me a better pastor than the other ones. Not because they are not anointed. They are specially anointed. Highly brutal. Intellectually capable. Even some highly... In fact, don't even go there. But they did not see what I was seeing. Said this thing is an error. It must be corrected. Someone says an error. Some of you, when you pray for people, they leave the church. Some of you, when you gather them together, thinking they are there to help you, when they want to key, do things, it will look like this is this a devil incarnate. There must be something you will find out. What is it that is following me? You must address it. If you don't address it, it will become a pattern. It's going to be repeating every time. Every year, the devil will be bringing something that looks like almost similar in the same form. It gives you a husband that can kill you or a wife that can make you backslide. You must check out and be wiser and be smart. If you are not smart, he said, well, I'm a new creation Christian. That's a good one. Not because we've not break them. Because they are evil ones usually rise up again. So you correct it all the time when they are trying to rise up. I pray for someone here. The Bible said, oh, my enemy, do not rejoice over me. When I fall, and I say to that person that has fallen before, to fall is risky and is dangerous. But there is hope for you right now. Who is that person that want to rise again? First, I pray for you. Receive wisdom. To be sensitive to what is following you. Two, receive grace and cut the thing away. Thirdly, receive understanding. That any time you see the thing coming, you know the wisdom to handle them. Lift your hand. You are going to pray now. Are you ready to pray? That thing following me. My business, my calling, my ministry, my opportunities. When good money enters your husband, you'll be thinking of how to marry another wife. Something is following. Something is what? You must be sensitive. What is it that is following? Moses grew on age and said, look, I'm no longer a hare. No, I must stop this thing following me. Are you ready now? Say that darkness, that darkness attached to my foundation, attached to my son's name. Enough is enough. As I jump now, every darkness attached to your foundation, attached to your life, call them up. Call them up. Call them off. Call them off. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say every curse and covenant that is against my calling. By the blood of Jesus. Break. Break, 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 break. Every cause and covenant attached to my calling. 
Break it, break it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, oh God, arise. By your mighty power, move it to my foundation. I'll put what is not planted. Move it to my foundation. Destroy what is not planted. I'll put what is not planted. Open your mouth and declare it. By your mighty power, move, 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 move. Open your mouth and pray it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say that battle. And this satanic voice assigned to swallow my calling and my glory. As I clap my hand, cash fire, go back to center. Cash fire, go back to center. Cash fire. Pastors, take it serious. I love, the, I love what you are doing. I pray. Say, I lose my calling. I lose my destiny. From the altars of my father's house. Of my mother's house. I lose my calling. Lose my destiny. Lose my glory. Lose them, lose them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Where I have ever stepped in, unknown to me, and I've been, and I've been tied down spiritually. In the name of Jesus, I pull my destiny out, pull my calling out. Put my glory out. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want a fire that is fresh. I need a fire that is fresh. Old fire cannot. How many of you need new one now? I want a fire that is fresh. I need a fire that is fresh. Old fire cannot do it. I want a fire that is fresh. I want a fire that is fresh. I need a fire that is fresh. Old fire cannot do it. Old fire cannot do it. Oh, yeah. I want a fire. I need a fire. I want to leave you to activate the fire. Pastors. Uh oh, the hand is too cold now. Uh -huh. Take it up, take it up higher. Uh -huh. That's good. You need a fire that's fresh. If oh, yes, let's go. Increase your hand. Concentrate. Ministers, I want your work to grow like free did. And you are clapping like that. I love it. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Don't break it down. Increase it. Increase it. Take it higher. Yes, 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 
You cannot break foundation with hot fire. You cannot break covenant with hot fire. Yes, 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 yes. What you are doing now, we do it seven hours. Seven hours, no stop. What you are doing now, we do it seven hours, no stop. Ask my pastors here. Seven hours, no stop. Wake up your hand. Yes, fresh, fresh fire. Fresh fire is coming now. Fresh fire is falling now. Fresh fire is coming now. Wake it up, wake it up, wake it up, wake it up, wake it up. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift your hands. Your prayer is, Lord, with this fresh fire, take away the evil load. Take away the, that thing I don't want in the family. Can you shout it louder? Shout it more fireful. Take away. Shout it louder. Take away. Every evil covenant, evil load, evil darkness, oppressing my star, oppressing my calling, oppressing my glory. Take it away. 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 Fresh fire. 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 You're not doing it all. That's good. Tear the fresh fire. Tear the fresh fire. Tear the fresh fire. Yes. 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 Call the fresh fire. To take every darkness in your life. Every darkness around you. Take it away. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Zakata Paragata. Zelekete. Zurakatus. Labrado Zekete. Take it away. Fresh fire. 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 Every darkness. He said, Rejoice not over me, my enemy. When I sit in darkness, the light shall come on me. The light shall locate me. The light shall locate me. The light shall locate me. Don't open your heart. Open your spirit. Holy Ghost. Holy fire. Holy fire. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Can you know, name those things you can see your family now? You are going to tell them, die! Those things you can observe. Stagnation, poverty. Not traveling abroad. Anointed but rejected. Anointed but not celebrated. Anointed but not invited. Anointed but broke. Are you ready now? Say that! of poverty that thing in my life I could sense in my family in the name of Jesus I call you one after the other oh yeah call them attendant to die call them attendant to die call them call them call them call them call them, call them. stagnation oppression delay Zakata Paradosa Lebrado Zulia. If you cannot pray this prayer, you are the enemy of your ministry. You are the enemy of your calling. Some of those things that need to die. Some of them, not the one after the other. Tell them, die! Die! Moses refused to be called. He called in the father's son name. He rejected their calling. He rejected them. He rejected them. Wake up your spirit. Call those things in the place of your husband's house. In the place of your husband's house. Those things you see. Those things you see. Those things you can sense. Hey! Ragada. Zekete. Rabados. Ragados. Regede. Rakalabos. Librados. Radododo. Zuzu. Ledudu. Zakatu. Rabada. Equadodudu. Wake up. Wake up.
Wake up. Please write the prayer point. Call those things. Jesus mighty now we pray. We are in the last stage now. And it's a, it's a prayer, it's a warfare song. The song means holy fire fall upon me. In the name of Jesus fall upon me. It is a fire that has the answer. We'll get to a level. We'll now begin to say holy fire for holy fire for holy fire. Of Jesus fall upon me. Let's go. Holy fire, fall upon me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus. Let's go. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me. 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 Concentrate! Concentrate! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! The fire is all over! The fire is all over! The fire is all over! Only fire! Let it separate you from the bondage, from the foundation, from the bondage, from the foundation! Holy Ghost! Rado Seleketusa! Rakwa Kwata Kupa! Lekwando Dorados! Holy fire for holy fire, holy fire, holy fire, holy fire. You are going to be receiving it now everywhere. Open your heart, open your spirit. Oh, yeah? Let's go. Are you ready? Now, nah. holy fire, holy fire, holy fire, holy fire, fresh fire, anointing fire, holy fire, healing fire, deliverance fire, holy fire, anointing fire, holy 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 fire, yes. Power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hold your hands together now. I heard the Lord told me, he said, this is what I call you for. He said, not the other one. He said, this is what I call you. I heard him. Lift your hand, lift your hand. Many of you will be so delivered, so free. Fire is going to be everywhere. Emptiness. Discouragement that you came with have been arrested. Please lift your hands. The holy fire is everywhere. Everywhere. I don't need to ever come to your side and say, take it. It's everywhere. When you go back, I just saw it now. Doors will be open. Yeah. Lift your hand, everybody. Hold your hand. Hold the next person. Father, let the holy fire. Yeah. If you have been praying and it seems there is no result, you are tired, you don't know what to do. Holy fire is coming now. Yeah. I just heard that. Let me anoint my pastors first. Pastor, lift your hand here. Pastor's wife, holy fire. Enter them. Down to this side. Take fire, fire, fire. Be baptized with fresh revival, freshness of the Holy Ghost, freshness of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hand here to the back. The fire is everywhere. Serpent that demons and stagnation is going away. Lord, everyone connected. I declare with fire and grace. Holy Ghost, take fire to the back. Power of the Holy Ghost. The fire is burning. Your tongue is increasing. 
Lift your hands here. All of you here, lift your hands. Go the back. Take it. Power. Fire. Holy fire. Take. Fire. 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 Holy fire is everywhere. Please lift your hand. Yeah, that's good. Yes, lift your hand. To the back. I'm not coming there. Lift your hand. Hold your hand. Father, let the Holy Ghost fire. When they open mouth, open their mouth, it is thunder. Zekete baragata lagada. Are you ready? That's good. The power is already on you. Take, take it to the back. Power of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Zakata kata lakuta bara. Zelekete barados. Ragado susu. Ele, ila, 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 ila. Ia. Take, take, take. Malakuta ya. Radodo selendo surinda ya. Lift your hand here. The Lord is giving some of you liquid fire. Lift your hand to the back. Take it, take. Take it. Take it. Take. All of you lift your hand. Take the fire. Fire. To the back. Take it. Today, you are not an honorary person. The way I'm not an honorary person, receive the same, my choir. Everyone, take it. Take. Fire. Fire to the back. Take it! All of you attack! <laughs> lift your hands, lift your hands! Fire is corrosive! Hey, Radudu, Selegedus, Ragatagadus, take, take, take! Take! Up where you are from today! Fire! All of you here, all of you here, lift your hand, raise it, lift your hand, take it, as I count three for you, one, two, three, to the back, take it, darkness is running away with speed, my native choristers, gospel artists, take it, take it, take, take it, all of you there, take it, take, take, Hey, Fire is everywhere. Grace is everywhere. Fire is everywhere. Grace is everywhere. Take, take, take. Grace is everywhere. Fire is everywhere. I see Nagini Jehovah, Sini Gange me. Hey! Fire! 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 I see Nagini Jehovah, Sini Gange me. Fire! Eluwa! See Nagani Jehovah, Fire! I see Nagani Giovale Siniganga. Take! I see Nagani Giovale Siniganga. Take it. I see Nagani Giovale. Fire! Take it here. I see Nagani Giovale. 
Take it, take it. I see Naganichi over there. I see Nagani Gani Jehovah. Oh, yeah, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Are you ready for the fire? Are you sure? Are you prepared? Take fire of the Holy Ghost. Take it. You don't need to touch my hand. Fire. Hey. Lift your hands. of you lift your hands. Oh yeah, take. Count two. One, two. Take. 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 Fire. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Father, let the fire speak for them. Visit them throughout this year. When they return, that thing they have bind to die. Let it die forever. <laughs> Moses rejected the offer because he saw something. He rejected the, 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 the community, the town, the sun name, and all the good things that are there. He rejected God. By the fire you have released on your children, whatever the decree, heaven open now. Whatever they have said, no, they don't want. Lord, don't delay to answer it. When they return back, let it be miracles, surprises, divine encouragement. Every marine foundation fighting you. Witchcraft foundation, occultism, oppression, sin, curses, covenants, rising and falling, sickness, death. I cut them off. I cut them off, 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 now in the name of Jesus. Your star will not be perished. Your destiny will not be perished. From this day, light come on you. Light shine on you. Light overshadow you. I open doors for all of you. Doors. Doors. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed. In Jesus' name. Lord, stand up, stand up. Oh, yourself, oh, yeah. Oh, 
every darkness follow you. I cut them off now. Lift your hands. Receive. everybody go back to your seat please. protocol please do your go work. back go to back your to seat, seat please go back to your seat please oh yes you can continue from there shout hallelujah shout hallelujah let's not forget uh, Anki has not been blessed. The oil we are going home with has not also been blessed. Let's make them handy, but quickly pick up your offering. Pick up your offering. This is the last offering we are giving in this section of this conference. Father, bless our offering. Receive it and increase us in Jesus' name. Get your oil, your Anki, make them ready now. I told you, get for your friends, your neighbor, your landlord, your tenant, your landlady, get for them. People walking under you, get the anki for them. Make them ready. The keyboard is please. Make it up a bit. Thank you. 
everybody stand up with your oh yeah Stand up everybody with your oil. Lift your oil up. Lift the apron up. Father, I declare grace on the oil. Amen. On their mantle. Amen. Whatever they have lifted up, convert it to fire. Amen. Convert it to power. Amen. Convert it to authority. Anywhere you apply it in your business, your shop, visa, any application, let the grace speak on it. Amen. You apply it to your ministry, let the gates of hell disappear. Amen. Any strong man there that hates what you are doing, let them be exposed and die. Amen. Let fire pass through it now. Amen. Wave it, wave it, wave it. Let the fire enter. Let the grace enter. Fire! 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 Rugged fire. Corrosive, dangerous fire. Anyone here, as you are taking to your church, healing will take place. Growth will come from nowhere. Revival will manifest. The Lord will send ministerial helpers to encourage you. Congratulations! Wave it, wave it again, wave it again! Fire! Those who are connected receive the same grace. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Shout hallelujah. Point your hands to the altar and begin to pray for God's servant. Nobody should be sitting down at this time. Everybody stand up. Don't rush home because you have been prayed for. Don't do that. Point your hands to the altar and begin to pray for God's servant. You will know virtue has gone out. Pray for strength. Pray for strength. Pray for more grace, more strength. God will strengthen him to the end. Pray for more grace and more strength. More fire, more anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Get the prophetic seed. Those of us who have been coming, you know that is how we end it. Let your candidate be displayed on the screen. This is daddy personal account number. It's daddy personal account number. That is not somebody who, who doubles into church fund. Whatever you think you have sown or whatever you have done since, that is for the light city and offering. You all know the running cost of diesel. The big gen that has been running since morning. If they tell you the cost, you, it will be my value. Get a seed in your hands. But you still need to get the account details. As you are going home, you might be pushed that what I'm doing now is not, does not look like me. Get a seed in your hand and quickly come forward immediately. We ask us to prepare for that since yesterday. Get a seed in your hands and come forward immediately. Get the account details. Get it. Those who are watching in diaspora, this time is not also a barrier. Get the clear account details. And you can sow the prophetic seed. Is it good we give God's servant a cup of water? Are you sure? And you are still sitting down. When he was going, going around imparting people just, all of you were running from the back. But the time to give him a cup of water, you are seated now. It's not done that way. It's not done. Don't do what we are, look, don't go home without doing what we are doing here now. Key into it. Key into it. He did not ask for it. But the word said, if, it, if truly I'm a father, where is what? Where is my honor? If truly I'm a father, where is the honor? You should be glad and be excited when you hear things like this. You should be glad and be excited. Quickly run forward. Run forward. Open your mouth and begin to pray on the substance in your hands. Lord, as I lay the seed, whatever that is at work in the life of God's servant, whatever I've seen here that marvel me, Father, it can be replicated. Father, let it follow me home. 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 Open your mouth and begin to pray. Some of you are still at the back. 
let it follow me home. Every good, anything good that my eyes have seen here that gave me joy, Father, I can be replicated. Let it go with me. Let it go with me. Let it go with me. Open your mouth and pray the prayer. It's man. Any area of my life that is still lacking, Father, add it up, add it up, add it up. Open your mouth and pray the prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. My single prayer for you is this, that you are coming back with testimonies. I said you are coming back with testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray.